to refer to the ability to use both of one's hands, instead of favoring the left or right, but it can also be taken to mean someone who is duplicitous or two-faced. <laughs> the nonary game. Oh, that refers to the whole enchilada. The nonary game is a game where you try to open the number nine door and escape. The ambidex game is just a mini game you play as part of the larger one. Make sense? Like hell. Shit is confusing. Is it? Or is it that you're just a few carats short of a bushel? What do you Why are you asking me? Just hurry up and get in there. An ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until ambidex game polling closes. I know. Look, it doesn't matter who she is. Just get everybody over here. are you yelling at what's going on here is she uh, okay C come on quirk then she's Murdered? Hmm. Looks like she was stabbed. Don't see a weapon around here, though. That means either the killer took it with them, or it was part of them. Part of them? Well, if someone was strong enough and they had metal hands, then they might be able to stab someone in the heart. What are you suggesting? It's just a joke. Don't take it so seriously. Whatever. If we examine the wound, we'll probably get a better idea of what the weapon was. Let's get her to the infirmary. She might be old, but she's still a woman. If we're going to do an autopsy, she should have some privacy. Come on, boys, let's go.
Maybe she didn't suffer much when she died. Anyway, I feel a little bad about doing this, but I think we need to examine her. You mean like an autopsy or something? I'm just going to have a look at the wound. If we had a coroner, then it would be a different story, but... Um... What? I have a medical license. You're a nurse? No. Well, I'm not exactly a coroner. Interesting. I guess you really can't judge a book by its cover, can you? Sorry. You don't need to apologize. Are you really going to perform an autopsy? Oh, um... I won't really be doing it. I think that machine over there is a medical scanner. It's called an atom. It uses nuclear magnetic resonance imaging to examine and diagnose people. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Oh yeah? And just how the hell do you remember that? Because Alice, Clover, and I examined this entire room. Yes, I think I should be able to manage that. a tool of some sort. A knife, probably. In other words, she was stabbed in the heart, right? Yes. Well, I suppose that clears me of suspicion. Sorry, but no. Why? Please, don't tell me you think my hand can somehow turn into a knife. I told you that was a joke. Then why am I still a suspect? We found the old lady in one of the AB rooms. Specifically, the one farthest to the left. Before we went in there, only two other people had been in that room. You and Clover. Only one of you was conscious. Fi, please, stop joking around. I assure you, there was no one else in that room besides Clover when I woke up. She must have been put there later. But the door was locked, right? I don't think anyone could have gotten in without the key. Perhaps, but... There was a hatch on the ceiling, remember? Yes, there was. But Zero said he locked all the hatches. You fucking bastard! Why'd you kill her, Kay? I knew it. You're him, aren't you? You're the real Zero. Wait a minute, please. Just calm down. You aren't making sense. Let's suppose I am Zero. Why would I do something that would obviously cast suspicion on me? Uh, well, because... Because you figured we'd think that. And you'd throw us off the trail by doing the exact opposite. That's not a logical argument. Still... You do have at least half a point. Your argument doesn't confirm my guilt, but it does show us where we should be looking. The real Zero. The person who brought us here is likely the person who murdered that woman. Doesn't that seem like the most reasonable answer? I guess... Yeah, that makes sense. If Zero was the murderer, then they could open anything they wanted to. I mean, didn't Zero say something about that? in the master computer. That means all the electronic doors in this... Exactly. Also, consider this. If the murderer isn't Zero, why would the AI Zero stay silent? He told us that his job was to make sure the game ran smoothly. 
But now the unexpected has happened, and he says nothing. Why would he do that? If he can see everything we do, then he must know who killed the old woman. So why has he kept his silence? The answer is simple. The murderer is Zero, or rather Zero Senior, I suppose you could say. He likely ordered Zero Junior, the AI, to keep his identity hidden. If Zero Junior told us about the murder, then Zero Senior's identity would be compromised. There was something else to consider as well. Perhaps this murder was not unexpected. Zero Senior murdered him. Just as planned. Death is only another part of the game. Well, there's no way to know for sure, but I would assume so. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. I don't know. Well, one thing's for sure. If we don't go vote, something bad's going to happen. You see? Just as I said. Zero Junior ensures the game continues, even though someone has died. All of this is part of Zero Senior's plan. Let's get back to the warehouse. If we all head to the A-B rooms, maybe we'll see Zero Junior. After all, he told us he'd give us specifics once we'd gone in. Thank <laughs> you.